Nia told me she was going to be back, and she is back. Hey. Nia. Um, so I just want to tell Marcella, thank you for coming up and telling your side. I think everybody needs to tell your side, and this shows your loving self. I always thought that you were loving, but this even showed you more of a person of who you are, that you didn't go out and start bashing, that you just came and showed love. That is wonderful, and we need um, more people to do that. Um, I would say I did watch that live because I wanted to see what Monica would say. Uh, I was very intrigued. And they started off with a Bible verse. You know when, <laughs> you know a warning that somebody says is, you could tell a person if you go on their Instagram page, they put a child of God or, you know, God first or whatever. And <laughs> when she started off with the Bible verse, I said, this is going to be tough ass. Anytime <laughs> somebody try to use God, they try to use God to cover up their thoughts to make them look holier than thou. Mm. Um, that interview was terrible. You put out Plez's full name. You put out that she wasn't a lawyer and that she worked at a group home. That that right there is not nice. And even say even if she was a lawyer and she had to take time off from her job to get another job, it is COVID. No. Why would you tell people that? You understand what I'm saying? But you're worried that you're getting death threats, but you're putting out her full name because now people can actually look up her name. And you know how easy it is for people nowadays to find people, especially mm. since she's been so open that she is from um, Mississippi. And, you know, she has her de law degree in Louisiana and stuff like that. Like, come on, people. People, people are crazy. Like you can yeah. say it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And in this, this day and time, you, you don't want to play with that. Um, I want everybody to notice how everybody on that panel, even with everything happening, can come back together and speak to each other. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody can speak to each other, but not Monica. Mm. That just shows you all you need to see. Everybody can. I was disgusted by it. I would say the most thing I was disgusted by was Wiley. Um, he, when he made that comment about Plez, I mean, Bishop wanting to be with Plez um, for sex, I don't think he got that out of nowhere. I think mm. that was given to him by Monica. The way he came on there, somebody put a battery in his back. You don't just say those things. He he said things like he, he knew them personally and who he did this from. And it's funny because she she didn't let anybody else call in. She just had him call in and that Tanya lady. We don't even know her. And then the lady is dumb as bricks. You got a PhD, but you mean to tell me you couldn't get off of Plez Live that she hurt her feelings. And yes, she still should be compensated for something. They grew your your platform, to be honest. Because yeah. I would have stopped watching a long time ago if it was just the Avatar. Nope. So all I want to say, tell you is thank you for bringing me on here. I love your journalism. Thank you, Marcella, for telling your side. We love it. Um, all the other panelists, thank you. Um, I also want to comment on Soldier Manera. I've been watching his interviews. Yes, you did not call Monica your mama. Um, and thank you for showing us the evidence, even though she striked your videos down. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much for calling in, Nia. Bye. All right. I'm going to bring up a couple of people I know that can talk well together. <laughs> Ladies, Hello. how are you? Wow. Is Jamal coming? Is Jamal coming? That is all I could ask myself seeing that woman. And I try to watch just to be like, I know what's happening, but I couldn't because I, I was like, is she going to bring Jamal like uh, to do a cameo here right now? That would be like something. It was comical. But then again, this is like, I feel vindicated for Marcella coming here tonight. I've been telling her this is a safe place you can come. Thank you. And I took a lot of slack the day that I was relaying her message. But I'm okay with that. You know why? Because I don't like to kick people when they're down. And I really felt that Marcella was hurt. But moreover, I, I knew out of my personal experience that that woman manipulated all of them to bring that character. I mm. became a teacup watcher when the Monique thing happened. I was really outraged and I, it was like a family member, like the attack, I, I can't explain. 
I hate seeing Injustice play. And I was disappointed with Andy Cohen. I stayed one month without watching Bravo. That was the wow. hardest month of my life. No, I, I, <laughs> I'm telling you, because Bravo <laughs> took me through some hard times in my life. That's my escape TV. And I don't want to see Injustice that everybody feels be displayed there. I felt dirty just by watching that. Anyhow, when I started call, uh, calling in, she, Monica would always take my call. And when I wouldn't call because it's a topic or a show that I don't watch, I'm not going to call. But if she sees me in the comments, she would say, Miriam, I see you. Like, she knew my name. And it made me feel special. And this is how the grooming starts. Oh. People, people need to understand that. At first, no, I really like, I was like, wow, like, she, she remembers my name, you know? And uh, because she has so many subscribers. But, uh, and then there was that, uh, the day that she started like uh, monetizing uh, even the membership, like when she introduced the membership. I was like, you know, because I, I wanna, I, it's like uh, uh, Marcella said, in this sad time, I was getting joy and finding another platform that I can, you know, I love talking reality TV, right? So uh, when she said, oh, now the uh, button is up for everybody to, um, to subscribe with the paid uh, monthly. Uh, and then I'm like, I told Monica, I said, Monica, there is, it's not on cell phone. So I was telling her, she goes, are you serious? I said, yes, because I tried and I still have that, but the logo uh, All About It is gone because I think her, her Instagram page was disabled, but I still have the texts and then uh, the DMs. And then she goes like, and then she tried to fix and then she would, uh, it was a Saturday. And she goes, try again. And then I said, well, I'm doing groceries. When I come back home, I will try. And same thing. Then she explained in her channel that, guys, uh, we have to fix the mobile app so that you can. So she was all about the Benjamins, really. Her all about the T's, all about the Benjamins. And then, like, uh, I found like, mm, that's not fair because she gets money just by viewership. And I'm sure whenever you want to watch a recap, she gets money. And I always thought, just like Marcella did, that everybody gets like, a, it's like the tips of a restaurant. They split the tips when people give money. So, and then I started being turned off. Okay, you're going to say Team Twirl. When they were going down on Kenya, I, you know, this is the thing. I don't like when people shame women for being alone or for not being in a no. relationship. I feel no. like that's not the fault of the woman. It's bad luck. It's men being bad. Like that. Don't because I take that personally. I'm alone, not because I have a flaw, because I don't want to be with someone that's not good to me. Mm. So this is when I start and they would go on Plaz because of that. Like Plaz, she is a team twirl too. Anyhow, with Marcella, I disagree 90% of the time on opinions. I on opinions. I have to read this. I have to read the super chat because this made me laugh. Queen, thank you so much for always supporting the channel and being funny at the same time. Well, this is my escape TV. Don't let us down, Kempire. Else I'm coming. Wait, I, I'm calling everyone's. Oh, wait, I'm calling everyone from Simon's Village in Nigeria. Anyway, hey mom, aka Miriam. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you see my face, you know. And listen, it's like it's a, it's very cultish. Even people, the way they would, uh, you know, the death threats, this and that. Like it's uh, it's too much. But then again, we have to understand. Like just like I found that as my escape, some people did that even to more more to heart. Like it's all about how much free time you have and then you get sucked into something and you believe in it. It's just like catfish, like how many people fall uh. in love with people that they didn't see. So this is the syndrome. She is she's, she's very good at that. She knows how to manipulate people, how to come close to them when they're down, like AKA when Marcella lost her friend, uh, rest in peace, uh, Kyle, who I didn't know. And this is how I met Marcella. I met RJ through Adam, and RJ is a wonderful person. And this is how I got to know Marcella online. We never been in the same place, uh, you know. We 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 don't know each other. What I know is what I see, 
I can disagree with her with opinions, but then again, I can also observe that they were all manipulated. Like she, uh, Monica wanted Marcella. She, Marcella was encouraged. Yeah, come drink and just have fun. And she was mm -hmm. doing that. And that was rubbing off people the wrong way. Uh, you know, not everybody will like everybody, but then again, and then she got that stigma that she's always drunk that she's always drunk. See, it's like how they paint housewives. Monica, she's not new in this. She's a master in that. She's learning from TV and she did that to her panelists. And just one thing about Monica, I hate when she said, I made you, I uh, I was uh, promoting her, her lipstick. No, it were the teacups, including me. I would always ask, plus what's the color of lipstick? So she picked up on that. Mm. He picks up on that, and then she now is portraying that she made them. Monica needs to come to terms with the fact that the secret sauce were mainly, I will say, although I don't agree with him all the time, Bishop Plus. I always, when I would watch, I would learn something new from Plus. And, and I can say 99% of the time, I was always agreeing with Plus in my head. Yeah. So uh, for her to say, I paid her more than everybody, $300 a month. You, are you serious? Like this is a slavery. If they had put time into their- Miriam, I'd just like for you to look at Janice. She's waiting there patiently. I know, I love Janice. I love Janice <laughs> and all the Luan necklaces that she wears. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, what are your thoughts on this hot topic? All right. So for the regulars in the chat, you all know that I'm a moderator for Kempire Live's channel, and I love being a moderator for you, Kempire. So thank you so much. Thank you very much for Marcella for coming on and being able to feel confident enough to speak your truth, because you don't get that on that many channels. All righty. We've gotten that out of the way. This whole subject, this whole week has driven me crazy. I saw the um, the Avatar <laughs> on the night when they announced that Plez had left. Okay. And so I was rather upset about that. And um, then I watched the, everybody watched the same interview, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so we don't need to talk about the side chick doing the interviewing and all that other fun stuff. Then when I watched the Fallon interview, I made some comments out there, you know, um, so proud of you it was a great interview. This morning I wake up and I have a like from the avatar on the comments that I made during that. I know. Which avatar? The avatar. Oh, <laughs> she's, a, she's a the avatar, not this avatar. No, not that avatar. No, <laughs> this avatar is cute. Wait, I want to. I'm sorry, Jens, to interrupt you. Um, hey. In regards to this question, in regards to um, Monica said that YouTube takes 46 percent of the super chat. Honestly, I haven't looked into it. Look, when it comes to money and things like that, it's fine. I don't think so. I, I don't worry. I don't worry about. It. I don't get that deep. I mean, I probably should be a little bit more worried because my channel is monetized. Yeah. And not because of, look, and not because of someone else. Um, well, it's because of you guys, the subscribers. But you get what I'm saying. Um, so, but yeah, so I'm not too sure, but I have to look into that. I have to look into that. I will. I will get back to you guys. I don't. So think. I got a like from the avatar on my That's comment. Scary. I know it's crazy, right? I wake up this morning, got up at six fifteen, like I always do. Look through my messages before I start my day. And there's a like from my comment from the avatar. And I'm like, okay, what game is she playing now? Hmm. I watched that show for the panel, not for her. Because the panel would have interesting points of views on different subjects. Did I watch every night? No, because a lot of the people that they talked about, I don't know. I don't watch them on whatever show they're on or anything like that. But I'm... For the people that I did know and that kind of stuff, I would watch. And I always knew there would be some sort of interesting comment that would come out of it. Um, when it all started with the side chick giving Pleza's full name, the state that she worked in, I 
I wanted to throw up right then and there. But being one of your moderators, I knew that I had to stay with the conversation, gather all the facts that I could just so that we could have an intelligent conversation about it. And I appreciate the fact that we are having a very intelligent and respectful conversation about it. So chat while I'm on here, make sure that you stay respectful. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I, I meant to click the answer to the question and that, and that came up, but that was funny. Uh, but, and look, <laughs> I'm trying to get to the right, the answer I here. I know. Gemini girl, thank you so much. It's 30% of the super chat. I saw a couple of people say that. So it's 30% of the super. Damn Google. I'm yeah. sorry. So it's crazy. You just have to, if you're going to follow someone on YouTube, you need to do your own research to see is it somebody that you want to watch? If you're watching for the kicks and the giggles and everything like that and go, heck no, I don't think like that, that's fine. But to become a follower, and I mean, that night when the avatar was doing this supposed interview, and several of us have talked about it in the chat before you came on, Kempire, they were deleting super chats oh. because they were going against the avatar. They were going and they that. had questions for the avatar. And they thought that if they did a super chat, that they would get recognized. They didn't. There were people in that chat that were saying they were going to dump their subscription. And the as members, soon as they said that in the super chat, it got deleted. And I'm oh. watching all this. Of course, I've got my moderator hat on, right? And I'm watching all of this. And I'm like, holy cats, you don't want to... If people are willing to contribute money to your channel... You don't want to do that kind of stuff. You don't want to delete. I understand a lot of them were respectful, disrespectful, and they were using very colorful language, and mm -hmm. they shouldn't have been talking like that because they had a better way of expressing themselves. <laughs> and all of a sudden, because it was only members only on the chat. It was only members only the night that she announced that Plez wasn't coming back because she wanted to take care of her mental health. Yeah. And yes, she did say those words. What She can deny it all she wants, but she did say those words. And there were 8,000 people in the room when she said mm. those words on that chat. So there you go. Um, mm. But to sit there and to delete things out just because it goes against you is not right. She yeah. was deleting even in the fake interview, which was a monologue. It was well, and and that's what I was watch. That's what I was watching, Miriam. What I mean, and that's the last thing that I've watched on her channel was that interview. I didn't watch Beverly Hills that night. I spent the two hours I, watching her. How did me why. too? Damn it! <laughs> I don't know why I did, but I, I ended couldn't. up watching Beverly Hills the next day, so that was I, fine. I, but, I couldn't. I know, right. but it, she was being very disrespectful. Her moderators, they must have all been given their marching orders. You're going to delete everything that's negative. And I didn't appreciate that because you would see the comment come up and I'd go, ooh, that's interesting. And then all of a sudden, wham, it's gone. Gone. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. I appreciate that that tea. Both of you came through with the tea. Of course. All right. Let me, let me there's a lot of people backstage that I want to get right. to. I appreciate both of you calling in as always and supporting the channel. Before we wait. Yes. And chat, I'm coming back to moderate you. So. Oh, Janice is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, you can stay on the line if you want to. I'll bring you up just after everyone else. Uh, Del Senia? Del Senia. Del Senia. Yes. How are you? Everyone I'm always so loves well. the diffuser in the back. Thank you. I mean, you know what? I was a former teacup member, so that's why I got my diffuser going. In fact, I got two going double time, and I have one in each room, okay? Um, oh, I wow. to, yeah. I wanted to start by thanking Marcella, um, New York homie. Um, for coming on and speaking her truth, because I'm going to tell you what, when all of this stuff was going down, I was so conflicted with everything. And I I noticed that, you know, some of the shows that were coming, I was the fool staying up two and three and five hours. And then some, sometimes we had after dark shows and I'm, you know, I just, that was just my life in COVID working from home. So wow. um, it was really amazing to me, you know, when certain lives would come on and they would go in, to certain things and it was just getting, you know, I felt a certain kind of way with some things. And some nights I would be like, I'm just gonna turn it off for tonight. I'm not, I'm not gonna hang out. And I've been here for an hour and it was getting catty. I even watched the comments for some of the shows I didn't even watch. I just came there for the commentary. Um, and I, But I did see a little shift in what was going on and how things were going in. And it, and it made me feel a certain kind of way. And I thought it was just me. 
So, you know, there was some, when I felt like that, I would just tune out and then I would tune back in. But that live, when that whole thing went down, I was there for it. I know what Monica said and she did say those words. Yes, she did. I was there too. Yeah, it was a mess and I was shocked and it just confirmed everything. You know how you you know something's kind of bad for you and you you kind of excuse your way into it and then finally some the shoe drops right in front of you the ham is there the gun you saw the gun shoot you can't mm. deny it so it was just like oh my god okay so what am I gonna do now and that was how I was and 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 it I my the confirmation was I knew that I couldn't support this anymore because I watched this with my own I couldn't I couldn't lie to myself anymore mm. but you know in all honesty I waited a day or two. I stayed away and I said, I want to I, I want to uh, really take this in and, and see if I see if I could see a light at the end of the tunnel. And when I started watching everybody else's lives and all that stuff, and like I said, I, 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 I support supported all of them. And I watched Pledge's channel and I saw that she was going to leave. You know, I was saddened by it, but I had already been supporting her anyway. And then the next day when monica did the announcement that pleasant was going to leave she did say those words about her mental health and i was just like oh my god me like a dummy tuned in the very next day without pledge and i was just like you know what i can't do this i can't do this i said i'm gonna have to unsubscribe which i did i unsubscribed and i said i can't support this so of course now all these other videos are coming out and i'm watching everybody you know do their thing and of course because my membership doesn't end till a certain date at the end of this month, I was able to, to um, go in and, and see Jamal's side chick. And I'm like, seriously? <laughs> We're doing this. Okay. I'm, you know, and I was so upset because I was crossed between, is she going to show her face or is she going to start with an apology? I would have been mm. fine with either one or both. Mm. Um, I don't know if I would have still been a s- subscriber, but I, I needed to hear that. I needed to soothe my soul because my, my, my diffusers are running double time trying to... No. <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep me real in, and when that whole thing happened i was like oh my gosh and of course the doxing within the first five minutes you were there i don't need to to recap that but it, it was just really 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 silly and that just confirmed it for me you know um i couldn't support it anymore i just i i just couldn't do it anymore but i thank you guys you know as a former teacup you know i've been you know i get it yeah yeah, we're, Lord, we're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. We got egg on our face. I get it. I get it. <laughs> we're, but, we're gonna have to start a support group. I think I'm gonna have to call. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to change the name of this to um, "Surviving think, the Avatar." I think you will, and I love when you said that because that was a running joke, you know, with the teacups and everybody else. Because, well, well, if you were there, you saw the moderators and the teacups and all of that stuff. You saw what everybody was saying. So even the people that support, we paid money. Okay, we invested in this, yeah. and yes, Marcella is was a grateful giver and she was you know i immediately you know aligned with her because she was in new york and we we're both the same age yeah so you yeah. know i i just aligned with her with that there were certain comments that were you know kind of off the cuff but you know that's in the year. for me it rolled off my back i got why it offended some other ears and everything and, and some other people but all in all i without knowing what was going on in the background I thought it was going well until I felt a certain kind of way with certain clickbait. Let's just call it mm. clickbait shows. That's what it was. I, I'm, I was a member. I can say that. Not yeah. allegedly. I was there. I paid for that. <laughs> okay? So give me that. Give me that. Yeah. So, you know, that's that's just how I felt about the whole thing. But I thank y'all for letting me come on the channel. Of course, I'm I'm, I'm here with Kemp. Um, Diana, I love you. I always call out that mod. She's so sweet. All your mods are sweet, but Diana is a special place in my heart. And of course, not paid by Monique, my Miss Miriam. I loved her. Um, I always used to see Miriam calling on the panel too when we were doing the daytime panel. So I agree with everything that Miriam said. Um, the only thing is she's a Kenya fan. I'm not so much a Kenya. I don't hate But I still love me some Miriam. She's the bomb. Keep her oh, away. Talk. You know what's long-winded New Yorkers? We could take that. I love Miriam when she comes back. Like, oh, show, Miriam. You got this. All I have to say is when I have a daytime talk show, y'all can't talk this long. I know. We got I'm commercials. So sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to keep my YouTube show going. Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, good night, everybody. Love you all. And you know I'll be here. Welcome to the family. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Fantastic. So happy to be on. I'm excited. 
<laughs> oh, I'm excited that you're excited. What are your thoughts on this hot topic? Oh my God, like the avatar is just insane. I just think she needs to apologize and just call it a date. All this drama is so unnecessary. Her pride is way too much. She needs to take a slice of humble pie and like fall on her sword and say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I took advantage of my people and I won't do it again. Story finished. Everyone will be subscribing to her channel. Everyone will mind their business and all will be good in the internet world. Mm. I just feel so sad for every party involved. Yeah. But again, karma is a bitch. She's also getting her karma because she's really messy. She has done a lot of dirt. She has hurt a lot of people. And there's no maturity or integrity in her work. And that's why I love you. There's a lot of maturity and integrity in what you do. It's not about bashing people. It's about giving facts and also enlightening people and getting people to see a different point of view. We should be all, as a collective, we should have a mature conversation without having anyone having putting faith in anything. It's so unnecessary that COVID, people are dying, people are unemployed. There's a lot going on in the world. You catch more flies, you're coming. Mm. I just want to say I love you. I'm excited. That's it for me. You are amazing and you're so good to look at. Oh, <laughs> oh God, thank you so much for calling in. Well, Cephas, what's going on? Hey, Empire. You actually said it correctly. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? Hey, good evening and happy Pride, of course. Yes. Um, so I just I watched it live um, the night it was happening, and I was both infuriated and insulted at the same time, just as like an avid fan. Um, and I've actually called in on the show twice. Um, first, I was really insulted by the blatant lack of transparency. Like right off the bat, we knew that we were in for mess because we were seeing her avatar again. And this video, more than any other video she's ever done, would have been the perfect opportunity to show your face because you literally have nothing to lose. Your credibility is tanking, the brand is tanking, your viewership numbers are going down, and this is your time to just come across as transparent and forgiving for what all transpired. Um, and then also I was really confused by Dr. Griffin. Um, I didn't know like what her, like I mean, she didn't introduce herself and I didn't know like what her relationship to Monica was, like was she, an avid fan was she like a family friend i didn't quite know and also just from like their dialogue it seemed like they were super close to some capacity and that also added to the lack of transparency as well because you're clearly giving this really like softball interview that's really just like an, an inner monologue um and i think maybe like the best format would have been perhaps if she had taken questions from her panel or, or not the panel but um uh, people in the in the comments or through like the moderators. Yeah. Um, also, a very appropriate interviewer, I think, which also would be really ironic and serendipitous at the same time, would be probably DJ Richie Sky because mm. he both knows her as being on the panel, but also I think he would be able to give her some ease, but also hold her feet to the fire as well because he knows firsthand experience from working with her and probably a little bit more like background information than the average person. Um, are you so, saying, wait, are you saying that he may have seen her face? Perhaps, I don't know. I mean, she did say that she keeps herself completely anonymous because it allows her to, you know, gather tea. But I mean, I think that like, of course, like he, she definitely, respects her daytime panel more than the night panel because she wasn't holding them to the, these egregious hours. Mm. And they also are more in the business. So I think that they could, or rather like DJ Richie Sky or whoever else would be able to hold her feet to the fire. And, you know, if, if they asked a question and she answered, like they would be able to give like a follow-up or maybe hold her accountable or hold her feet to the fire or something, you know? Yeah. Um, like if not, um, toxic, like who do you think would be like a good interviewer for this this video? Oh my gosh, I didn't expect to answer this question. <laughs> Sorry to put I you mean, on the spot. I mean, anyone that we can respect as an interviewer on YouTube, I think it should be maybe a 
a colleague, and when I say colleague, not necessarily someone that's worked with her, but someone that's in this sort of field, and mm -hmm. that's a good interviewer. I'm look, interviewing is a skill, and I'm I'm not going to be cocky here. I'm a good interviewer, and I'm not saying that I'm putting my hat in the ring because I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. But I think oh, so people are saying Funky Deneva. Look, oh, I, I, de I definitely think it should be a peer. Um, but with all due respect, anytime I'm doing an interview like that, I don't want stipulations on what I can't ask. Like, I feel that's why she did it the way that she did it was because she wanted to control the narrative. And you can control the narrative, but it just came across inauthentic. And that's the problem. You can't come across inauthentic and be an avatar. It was super heavy handed. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and that's all I have to say. Um, it kept it super short. Um, I really enjoy your, your content. Keep up the great work. Enjoy the rest of your pride. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And I look forward to seeing more videos throughout the summer. Thank you so much, Steve, I appreciate you supporting the channel and calling in. Absolutely. Have a good evening. You too. <laughs> <laughs> you promised to come back and here you are. Yes. <laughs> okay. I want to piggyback on Janice when she was talking about um, um, the constant, the constant lies, like I think she just put out tonight some more lies that, like again, she never spoke about um, calling her lawyers. She said that live during that night that Plez before Plez joined. She said Plez had said some things about her derogatory in her two videos, and that she's gonna call her lawyers or contact her lawyer. She said that twice in that live. Um, hold on, dear Dana, thank you so much for the super chat. D Dana says, I believe creators have a responsibility to bring good content and integrity. How are viewers are supposed to respect the creator if they come to the table with no respect for their panel, much less their viewers? Come through, dear Dana, with the All read. Right. All right, now let me circle right back real, real quick. Yes, now please. With Plez, look, Team Troll made me go, ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. With Plez, you know how Team Troll is. We, you don't come for us. <laughs> all right, now with Plez to spin the block. Plez was very honest in all two of her videos. She did speak facts. And it's like consistently, like Janice said, has been lies and lies and lies. And when it came to Marcella, I feel bad for Marcella. But in a way, um, I agree with some people when they say, Marcella, you sat there on multiple um, streams. Even though this is her platform, she's invited you for your opinion. Uh, my mouth ain't no prayer book, but I'm going to speak my piece. And you could have stood up for several things that you believed in. That's how I feel. Um, there was a lot of low ball things that she said about Candy. Now, we heard Phaedra and Portia admit to lying about Candy and the dungeon, but she consistently threw that out there when she was talking about the T.I. Tiny thing, kept bringing that up. That's what made me leave the page because I'm like, I don't condone another black woman trying to make another black woman look like a rapist and all this and this and that. When they clearly said it on the reunion that Portia and Phaedra lied and made that whole story up. And then Candy came back and spent the block and told us the truth. Portia kissed that girl in her mouth off camera. And that's how that came out. So let's be real. I feel like Monica, she was very manipulative, like I said, and she pointed people out. She didn't like the person. You had to be on her side and not like the person either or dog the person out. And as a, um, a curator or a commentator or a gossip blogger, you should be um, even killed and have a level head when it comes about your opinion. Have it be strong in your stance, but be, be fair across the board. Yeah, most definitely. Queen Lady, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you, guys. Hey. Hey, you. How are you? How are you? Huh? I subscribed and I, I hit like. Yes. And y'all subscribe and y'all hit like <laughs> and y'all forward this to the next person. So the next person can hit like and subscribe. Yeah. Okay. And we building each other. Amen. Okay. Um. I just want to say, Monica is full of dookie. Oh, not dookie. <laughs> She's full of dookie. We can't say certain words, so I'm no, just going to say that. I appreciate she, it. I just haven't heard that she, word in so long. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I like your black, you know, your shirt. Oh, thank you. Um, gap. Gap, y'all. <laughs> hey, I'm a gap person, too. Don't get it twisted. I'm I'm forever at 3rd um, and, um, and Fairfax at the Grove. 
Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, over there? It's like eight o'clock. Huh? It's like eight o'clock over where you are. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I'm in Cali. Yeah. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised, see at LACA all day. <laughs> um, but however, um, Monica's full of dookie. <laughs> all, it's just it's kind of sad that as a professional, I'm a professional and we're all professionals. It, it, all she had to say was, you know what? I don't feel well. And I'll call you and let you know um, what the plans didn't need her money. First and first, first and foremost. But if she's going to give up every single Friday of her time, pay that girl. You could pay a hundred and fifty. You could you could cut it. Plans would have been fine with that. But it's just about communication. And they say, well, it's a miscommunication. Everybody's saying, no, 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 no. It was miscommunication on Monica's dookie self in. It was miscommunication on the dookie and the donkey in the middle. And that's Monica. She's the donkey. She's the dookie donkey. Because at the end of the day, all she had to do was communicate with her employee. That's all she had to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As for everybody else, I wish them well. Um, Marcella, thank you for coming on and just, you know, doing what you had to do in order to clear your name. And I think she's genuine. I think that was very genuine of her. Yeah. Um, if you may agree with me. Um, and I just pray that this is a lesson learning, a, a, a learning lesson for her that she never, ever plays into somebody's BS. Mm. Period, point blank. Because Marcella did at some time. She did play into it. And as a bishop, I think it's a learning lesson for everybody, everyone. And yeah. hey, happy Pride Day. Happy Pride Day. Happy Pride. I'm a straight, I'm a straight girl. I'm a straight. I'm, You're an yeah, ally. I'm a, yeah, I'm an ally. But hey, my goddaughter is gay. And, and hey, I'm I'm for the cause all yeah. day, every day. You know, I support it. But however. Um, but happy Friday. Uh, but anyways, um, that's all I have to say for the because I know you got people in the back. You hit a thousand. Hey, hit your goal. Continue to be strong. Continue to be right, and just do what you got to do in all ways to prosper. Thank you know, you. and continue to say every, all your your pages because I follow you guys. I like positivity, and I like to always be, you know, amongst that realm of positive you know, YouTubers, vloggers, yeah. you know, because everybody can sense BS. Yeah. And that's what Monica brought. So Monica, you are the donkey of, you are the donkey duty of the year, <laughs> not of the week, not of the day. For the rest of this year, 2020, what is this, 2021? Yes. You are the donkey of the year, the donkey <laughs> duty, dookie. That's what we're going to call her, donkey dookie Monica. <laughs> Period point blank. Donkey Dookie Monica. Oh, I don't care Lord. who likes it and who don't like it. Point is, she is a mess and she has she should have never, never um discredit that girl. Yeah. Never should have done that. That was Thank wrong. You. That was evil. And nobody ever follows the devil. And when they do, that's just who they are as an individual, too. Thank, thank you, Blessing, so much for calling in. <laughs> T. Maria's here. T. Maria, la, uh, just let me know your thoughts on this hot topic. Hi, Kim Byer. How are you? How's Good. Jamaica? Is Jamaica Good. warm right now? Is it hot? It is super hot. You know, I'm going to the beach on the weekend, so... I'm going to soak up all those good, juicy sun. Mm. Lord. What are your thoughts on this craziness that's been going on? Um, well, I thought that she should have um, let Tasha K do the interview. Tasha did a live as well, and she was on Monica's side. And, you know, but I think when Tasha K do those type of interview, you would have to go to her house. And, you know, the avatar wants to stay an avatar, so mm. um, it wouldn't work. The problem that I had with um, Marcella um, is just the things that she would say specifically about candy and when they did speak about zanique which is ti's daughter um 
they are all adults they should take responsibility for the things that they say well monica she is a puppeteer she um basically prey on these people and you know i didn't i didn't like it i still don't like it um in jamaica you know we would say she stiffen our heart and she would um, harden her heart and stiffen her neck because all people was saying to her is just apologize. And everyone that commented like, just apologize and end this and they would be deleted. So she, she, she wants to be in an island by herself. Mm. She enjoys it. She doesn't feel any way about it. I don't think she feels remorseful. She doesn't feel any way. She said that Bishop lied. Um, Marcella is coming back on the panel. He lied about that. And, you know, now Marcella is coming out and speaking her truth. Now, who is lying? Because all panel member is basically saying um, she's a liar. And this is everyone is seeing it all over the world. You know, um, that's just so foul. She believes her own lie. She, I believe that she thinks about a lie and then she believes that lie. And she will convince every single person that this is true. And I think that's the reason she, she's going to stay an avatar. She's not going to reveal herself. Never. That will not happen because she basically f let these people come out to the world and you know show their face she basically nothing is happening to her because nobody knows her nobody know where she lives and people see these people um threatening them you know so she is just foul and it's just so unfair i hope that all of the others will form their own panel because um people will definitely follow them yeah T. Maria, thank you so much for calling. I appreciate you as always. Okay, bye. One of our, one of our other mon moderators. Miriam, last minute thoughts. I'm going to bring you up. Jamal is not coming. Jamal has signed out of the chat. Do you like my picture? Oh, my God. Is that for Monday? <laughs> That's for you because you love her. I, I do love her, but I don't love that picture of her. I know. That's why I picked it. <laughs> I don't look. List. What last minute thoughts on this, Mary? You dropped a lot of tea earlier. Thank you again for everything that you do behind the scenes in regards to supporting the channel and calling in and being part of the conversation, but also uh, what you did in regards to making Marcella feel comfortable to call in on this platform. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I feel like I need to disagree with you. Remember when you said that the channel All About the Tea will be back? She mm -hmm. can be back, but she lost the mojo. It will never be what it was, mm. especially because she is really only about the members as long as she makes money. That woman was making a lot of money on the backs of her panelists who were all groomed to be manipulated. They are adults and they're taking accountability for that. Schoolboy a little bit a day late and a dollar short because <laughs> and hard. Just like, you know, I don't like when they go like that they speak of like uh, really private stuff private part stuff with that yeah this and that it's just like her restaurant reviews it was what it was you know <laughs> but yeah with you had to talk about that that was amazing busy blue angeline they had me dying in the morning like there. i i watched the best thing is to watch something that makes you laugh in the morning. Oh yeah, I agree. Shout out to shout out to Jolene and Busy Blue. They're so funny. Thank you for subscribing to me. I hear they're in some drama right now. I'm oh. sorry, guys. I'm oh. sorry to hear that. Look, but you know, it happens. You just have to do an apology video, then you'll be on your way to a million subscribers. See, that's the thing. And uh, I feel like all Monica's panelists, had they watered their own lawn, they would have a lot of subscribers. I Explain. feel like a lot of meaning like she had over 100K. She had over 100K because this woman was hijacking these people for two, three hours a night. 
and not paying them, giving them what? $300 when she's making probably in the thousands a night? Just by memberships, we don't know how many people like, I know it's not a lot, but then like you just put that- It's not a lot. I mean, like, I think it's four ninety nine. I don't know what, how much it is, but when you oh. up, it's a lot. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not a lot to join necessarily, but if you have a thousands of people, I mean, all about the, the you, look, you can't deny at their height, they had thousands of people watching them on a nightly basis for hours. And she ruined that. She, she self-sabotaged herself because she cannot be wrong. When she started yelling and screaming, I am shaking right now. First of all, if she had text messages that clear her up, guess what? We would have seen them all over because she is one not to respect private messages, okay? Mm -hmm. So there is no messages there. More of than one person are corroborating the same story. Um, I don't know about so Benir, I'm telling you, I, I started like, when I came to you, I was detoxing from the tea. You know what I mean? This yeah. is how I started watching you. And then I started calling in and you're taking, and people would ask me, send me messages. Hey, we don't see you on about the tea anymore. I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes they talk about stuff that I don't know about. So I don't, I'm not. So she self-sabotaged completely. She is a narcissist. She is, she thinks she's above the fray. And everybody who was being manipulated by her, they were intoxicated by the popularity. Everybody wants to be liked. See, and this is why I like the conversation because, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, every, you guys are just on the panelist side. But what you're saying is that they also benefited from it. And the reason why they stayed as long as they did, that they did, is what because they were talking. Because, like I said, at one point, there was probably five, 6,000 people watching them and supporting them and yeah. sending money to their cash apps. Who wouldn't like them? Okay. I'm not shaming them for that. But I'm feeling like it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, like Monica being nice, they being liked. And then all of a sudden, the one hour became one hour, 15 minutes, one hour and a half, two hours. All of a sudden, there's after dark, then there's after party. Then it's like a, a, on a Friday night, it's a three, four hour endeavor to them. And that's draining. Instead of building up their own channels, who ironically, they would plug at the end of the shows but they are not putting content there. So all that plug, hey, Plaz, where they can find you? Like, Plaz, they can find her with you, because she's- I can't stand you. <laughs> Nia, Nia, what are your thoughts? I'm gonna bring, oh wait, Queen Lady, Queen Lady, you there? I'm bring it. Last minute thoughts, ladies, just because I like y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm sorry. So, go ahead, Nia, you go before me. Oh no, okay. Um, what I was gonna say is I agree with Miriam because I used to see her on there all the time. So, and I used to love, enjoy her talking. So that's why I continue to watch too. And at some point I thought, you know, Monica was gonna like bring her on as a panelist because she used to call in so much. So, so like that's how I, when I seen her, I was like, oh, that was the lady they used to call in. Um, I watched a video the other day on YouTube about the breakdown of how much she makes in a year. $96,000 is a lot of money. You understand what I'm saying? So Damn. you you only giving people 300 to $200 a month, that's chump change. Plus you have a so um, a quote unquote, um, what they said, um, corporate job. You, you're making bank. So you're not hurting to give these people money. This is like what Miriam said in the last live, modern day slavery. Um, these people, like, they're literally, they work all day. They might as well, I think their only break was probably when they were driving back home. And she literally had them on lives, talking about situations that they didn't know fully on. So they had to try to do their best to be, to give their honest opinion, as well as be politically correct. Because if they came up here and said, like, for example, they use T.I. and Tiny a lot. Mm -hmm. Those um, those views went up to 10K a night. You know what I'm saying? And there used to be- but In all fairness, and in full transparency, in regards to TI and Tiny, a lot of the times if we report on, unless you're very careful with how you word it, you won't get paid fully monetized for those those specific TI and Tiny stories because of the nature of it. So a lot of times they, those don't get ads and they may get the views, but you're not really getting paid a lot from that story. The views. 
I think she may still get paid because um, limited. You can you can probably get a view or, but the super chat she she would get money from. But in regards to like ad revenue, probably not. Let me because uh, the point I'm about to make is when Soul Demonier did this interview with Toxic. Um, I, I'm gonna say her name wrong, but I knew it is Toxic in the beginning. Mm -hmm. She had the uh, ability to copyright him and get his thing taken down immediately. Mm. I feel like she has enough um, power to, no matter what she says, still be okay. Because she said some like serious things, like the like um, Bishop even pointed this out. I remember her talking about um, Zonique, and Zonique got cussed out on the live once. And she was, oh, like, yeah, yeah. she was like, well, yeah, they have to be prepared for stuff like this. And um, King, he was, he got into altercation with this dude in the street. The dude kept asking him about his parents and things like that. Yes. Um, we can say we, we want about T.I. and Tiny. Those are still their children. You understand what I'm saying? Um, if somebody was to tell me my mother and my father was doing that, I wouldn't want to believe it. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? And that hasn't been proven. Exactly. So as much as even if we want to believe it or so, we have to let it play out. You understand what I'm saying? I do take I, like, these issues like that seriously. Yeah. They're and kids. Still kids. Exactly. They're still kids. So at the end of the day, that's like being bullied. Like you're 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 bullying someone because of what their parents did. They didn't do something, their parents did it. That's like kind of like what um they call it like um, secondhand embarrassment. Like you know, mm -hmm. I've got I gotta feel bad because of what my parents did. Now I can't live a regular life. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to also state that when they did that live, um, people was when they blocked out outsiders and only made it for subscribers. People was actually buying subscriptions just mm -hmm. to comment. I because saw. <laughs> I was tempted to. But I was like, I'll be damned if I pay this $5 to, mm -hmm. change, to comment when I don't even want to be, I mean, I'm not even a subscriber anymore. I just want to comment because it's not fair what she's doing to Plaids right now. Yeah. Well, I decided to to make it seem as if you guys were crazy because you were talking to an avatar. <laughs> we are well, you know, I kind of felt crazy just now. I wanted to say, like, excuse me. Like, you know, <laughs> You're very oh, wait, wait, I want to see how this might feel. We are we are crazy for you. It doesn't make me feel comfortable. Like right? the reason why I and I can't say this. I called in on all about the tea sometimes to speak on certain topics. Because I called in about the OG situation and tell them, like, you know, that OG is not aggressive, she's assertive. You know, there's a difference in it. And we have to be um careful on the things that we say, especially about women of a darker skin complexion. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. But and she doesn't she doesn't respect women of color by any means. If, even if she is a woman of color, she don't respect women of color. She said numerous of I felt racist things against her own culture. It was just she's done said numerous of things against black women that it's just like how could you say that as a black woman? Exactly. But look wow. at that. That's why it, that's why it seems to everybody that she's a white woman or a gay white man, as they say. You understand what I'm oh, saying? Damn. Because because they, that's the things that people are saying. So people are like, oh, she's a white woman or that she's a gay white man. That's the newest thing that I have been seeing. Like if you put in hashtag all about the tea on Twitter, this is one lady. She's adamant about it. She's adamant that she's a white woman. And she's sending these things to Plez. I just want to remind people in the chat, please no doxing people. As I said to you before, if she wants to, to remain anonymous, that's up to her. It's up to you if you want to subscribe to that. No, it, and that's the truth, because I'm going to be honest. I, I was, like someone else has said, um, they 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 follow Avatar. I followed King Petty for a while. Um, he's on Instagram. And he was an Avatar for a long time. And then he started to show his face eventually. Once he got comfortable, for, for a very long time, he was just an Avatar. And like they said, some people have personalities. Some people even tell you about themselves behind the Avatar. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to believe it or not. But it's just... I just couldn't get with it because of the backhanded things. Like I said, she always said about black women, just some of the things that she would just say and harp on, like just go in on. It's just like, I can't believe as a black woman, you're doing this. This is like unbelievable. And then, like I said earlier about Marcella, no offense, but as another 
elder black woman, I couldn't believe that you sat by and let a lot of that shit fly. Schoolboy, I can see her doing that because of her age and her immaturity at some of the topics as well. Plez, I think why she didn't respond to some of the things if, because she knew that she would be attacked. She, you know, if she she said anything that went against my, um, Monica. So I felt like Marcella had the most like the most opportunity to be that voice of reason besides Plez. And she just went with the flow, I guess, of the rest of the panel. And Bishop, to me, he served a purpose, but not too much, because he sat on his hands, too, about a lot. And it let a lot slide. So it's like, to me, if you're going to be a panelist or any person with an opinion, have your own opinion, no matter what whose platform it is stick inside of your truth and your identity do not try to blend in and become someone's sheep blindly yeah i would say as much as we can say yes they did sit back on certain things i would say if we were in that position what would we do you know as much as a lot of people think when they're in a certain position we would say certain things sometimes it's hard when you are put on a spot and not only that, I believe some of them are more calculated than she is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You stay silent so nobody can ever say you said that. You understand what I'm saying? Let her say all of that and let her take the blame for all of it. Because at the end of the day, they people know who they are. They don't know who she is. So but she's are guilty by association. So that's mm -hmm. why the whole panel, the rest of the panel is getting the heat too. Because you're guilty by association. And you can't sit back and let injustice happened in front of you and then later say but i should have no you got to speak up then and there mm. i thank you Kim. i thank you family y'all liking y'all subscribing y'all share and y'all y'all hit us up we gonna be here <laughs> thank you queen lady thank you thank okay. you nia miriam last minute thoughts quick yeah. thought yeah thought thought <laughs> Silas is complicit, and uh, this is the perfect example of it. Uh, that's the only thing that, uh, that I faltered for everyone in the panel. When uh, when Plaz was being attacked, this is when you take a step back. But mm. it's difficult when you're in it and you've been manipulated and you learn to love this person, this avatar that you never seen, which that was a revelation to me. I really thought they all would see her. Really? You thought that? Yes, I did. Because I wouldn't be a panelist with someone that I don't see. I, I just wouldn't. Agreed. So in my mind, they saw her. This is why they, uh, at some point, I thought maybe it was the Cheryl's world thing, family stuff. Because, you know, they all like are connected, which I don't think it's bad. Uh, so, yeah, I was like, I don't know them. This is new for me. And uh, so I... But that was a revelation for me. I just feel like when you see something wrong, speak up. And uh, Monica, just like um, Queen uh, said, uh, she, they used to uh, attack a woman of their own. And you hear sometimes you do subjects saying you're for social justice, but then you don't practice that justice on people you don't like and you go, you attack their character. For me, mm. attack what they did on the show, but don't attack their character because you don't know these people. You know them from TV. You, you can't say like uh, uh, anything about Mama Joyce. You can't say anything about uh, T.I. Uh, T. and Tiny's kids. If they done something wrong, it's not their kids' fault. You know what I mean? So they yeah. really would go it, it was dark. It was at some point I couldn't go there. This is how like I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to watch Empire. I liked him on uh, Up and Adam. And then gradually I'm like, I don't watch that anymore. Even before this, I stopped watching. I was trying to catch up only on the subjects that I like.